let's have a look at the distributive law. Let's say we have this expression here, 5 and then in brackets x minus 2. Now the first thing I need you to remember is that in algebra, if we haven't put an operation here, right, we haven't put a plus or a minus or whatever, what we mean is multiply. So what we've got here is 5 multiplied by this thing in brackets. And because 5 is multiplied by the brackets, what you've got to do is make sure that 5 multiplies with each and everything that is inside the brackets. And that's what the distributive law is. So when we go to multiply this out, we first have to multiply 5 with the x. And we get 5x, right? 5 times x, 5x. And then we're going to multiply the 5 with the 2. And there's still a minus sign. And 5 times 2 gives us 10. Let's do a slightly more complicated one. Here we've got negative 2x. And that must multiply with x minus 3. Now, one thing I really want you to do is to always be very careful and very aware when you see negatives, right? Put some big bright stars or something around them so that you remember to take note of the negative. And I'll show you why. Distributive law tells me exactly the same thing. I need to take this negative 2x and I need to multiply it with each and everything in that bracket. So I need to first of all multiply it with the x. Negative 2x multiplied by x is negative 2x times x is x squared. And then I need to multiply this with that. Now this is where that take careful, take note of the negative. What you've got here is you've got the negative and it's going to multiply with a negative and so it is going to become positive. And then you've got 2 multiplied with 3 and you've got the x still. 